Well, as you probably heard, we have a pretty substantial winter storm on the way coming up in the next couple of days. Should be many problems with snow as we head through uh, Saturday. However, will be a little problem with the wind as well. You can see we have a high wind warning in effect going from Cody all the way down to the Absarokas as well. It's a high wind watch. This is mainly for uh, Saturday night into Sunday. Again, go to our web address here, weather.gov slash RIW. One details will take way too long to explain each of these. So the overall wind gusts we're looking for that period. Gusts to about 50. This is in town. If you live up around Clark, the usual windy areas, could be gusts to maybe 60, 70 miles per hour there. And also the usual wind corridor, Jeffrey City up toward Casper, especially places like Outer Drive, for example. You can see wind gusts to 60 or 70 there as well. Now the next thing everyone's wondering, what about the snow? We just issued some winter storm watches this afternoon. Again, covering much of the area east of the Connell Divide, even down to southern Wyoming as well. Again, go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW for details there. Take way too long to explain these, a lot of different timings on these. So uh, as we time out the snow, I know a lot of people were concerned about the big game. I can't say what it is. There's copyright issues there. Don't believe me. Look it up. Anyway, basically moving from north to south. Could start as early as 1 o'clock around Cody, but most impactful snow probably holding off until, say, about 4 or 5 o'clock. And most areas should, shouldn't see much snow before about, say, sundown on Sunday afternoon. Then spreading north to south across the area, then tapering off as we head through the day on Monday. And maximum impacts anywhere from Sunday night to Monday. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'll just stand here quietly. Let you read this for a minute. Hope you enjoyed the background music there as we read through that. Next we want to look at, these are the wind gusts when the snow is actually falling. We'll have some falling temperatures as well. So not just uh, snow, but also blowing snow, especially in the favored areas. So it'll be a light powdery snow as those temperatures drop down. So it could be a lot of travel difficulties. And there's those temperatures drops. Not going to fall here. It took a pretty nasty spill. I hurt my back. So not going to do that. But you can see temperatures. This is the difference from Saturday afternoon, which could be quite mild. Some places maybe approaching 60 to the high temperatures on Tuesday. You can see as much as a 30, 40 degree drop here across Johnson County. Anywhere east of the divide, anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees. So it is going to be a slap to the face, as you can see. Quite a shock to the system as well. So as we look at the overall confidence levels as to what's going to happen with this storm, moderate to heavy snow, someone's going to get this out of there. Confidence high there. Blowing snow, very good chance of that, especially in the normal windier locations. Travel difficulties, very high chance of that again. Some places better than others. We have to nail it down. Still a couple of days out. We'll have more videos to pin that down. Flash freeze. Medium chance of that. Best chance of that where it gets really warm, say up around Johnson County, for example. Places to get well into the 50s this weekend. And overall snowfall amounts. We're still about 48 hours out from the start of this, so a little bit medium confidence on this. There could be some banding where some uh, heavier snow sets up, but again, we'll fine-tune this as we go along. So this is what you've been waiting for. How much snow are you going to get? Anywhere in the warned areas, it could be a good, say, 8 to 12 inches. Now, this is going to fall over a decent amount of period of time, say, about 36 to 48 hours, so not a big dump all at once. And most of the snow fogs, I'd say, from about Sunday uh, after midnight to about Monday during the day. So just light snow between those periods, but heaviest amounts, you have that northeasterly flow. Places like Lander could do very well. This may be up to 18 inches. Also, uh, parts of Casper as well, northeasterly flow into Buffalo as well. West of the divide, not quite as much of an impact. Biggest impacts... I'd say over here on the west slopes of the Salton, Wyoming range. Western Valley is about four to six inches as a rule, four to six along the I-80 corridor. And uh, lesser amounts across the eastern Bighorn Basin. With this flow, you tend to downslope a little bit. So amounts, especially, say, around Grable, maybe not quite as great as other areas. Here's our resource. Now for weather, weather.gov. Just click on the area you want. RAW is ours. You want Cheyenne's area, that's CYS. Now, for road conditions, again, these are the places to go. They have the information, not us. Don't call us for road conditions. Wild Road, www, excuse me, wildroad.info, that's for information on the web. If, if you want to call them on the phone, in-state, 511. If you're out of state, 1888 Wild Road to get that road information. Should have another briefing for you tomorrow with more details. Hope you'll fine-tune things a little more. Have a good weekend.